Welcome everyone and remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Now let's dive into the first step of muscle recovery. Sleep. Sleep, it's more than just a daily necessity. It's the unsung hero of muscle recovery, playing a pivotal role in helping our bodies heal and grow stronger. So when you're pushing your limits at the gym, remember that the real magic happens not when you're lifting weights, but when you're catching those Zs. During the deepest phases of sleep, our bodies become a natural pharmacy, releasing a cocktail of hormones that stimulate muscle repair and growth. One of the key players in this mix is the growth hormone. This hormone is like a construction worker, tirelessly working to repair the microscopic damage caused by a rigorous workout. It helps to rebuild your muscles, making them stronger and more resilient. Now you may be thinking, great, I'll just catch a few hours of sleep and let the growth hormone do its thing. But here's the catch. These hormones are released in significant quantities only during deep sleep, which typically doesn't kick in until about an hour or so after you've fallen asleep. And it doesn't stop there. The longer you sleep, the more you cycle through these stages of deep sleep, meaning the more opportunities your body has to release these essential growth hormones. So how much sleep do we need for optimal recovery? The magic number seems to be between eight to nine hours, anything less than that, and you're shortchanging not just your recovery, but your overall performance and well-being. We've all felt the effects of a sleep-deprived workout, the lack of energy, the diminished focus, the overall feeling of being off your game. That's your body telling you it needs more time to recover. So, if you're looking to maximize your muscle recovery, it's time to start prioritizing sleep. Think of it as the most comfortable part of your training regimen. After all, who doesn't love a good night's sleep? So remember, to aid muscle recovery, prioritize a full night's sleep. Moving on to our next tool for muscle recovery, stretching, both before and after your workout. Let's start with the basics. Why stretch before a workout? Well, it's simple. Stretching is a way of letting your muscles know, hey, it's time to get active. It's like a warm-up act before the main event, preparing your muscles for the activity ahead. Stretching increases blood flow and oxygen to your muscles, making them more pliable and reducing the risk of injury. It's like oiling a rusty hinge, it just makes everything move that much easier. But don't think of stretching as merely a pre-workout activity. Oh no, it's a double act, a grand encore after the final bow of your workout, if you will. Post-workout stretching is equally as important, albeit for different reasons. You see, when you work out, your muscles contract. When you stop, they need to get back to their relaxed state. That's where stretching comes in. Stretching after exercising helps return your muscles to their resting length. This aids in muscle recovery and reduces muscle stiffness. It's like giving your muscles a gentle pat on the back and saying, job well done, now let's rest. But there's more. Stretching post-workout also helps to cool down your body. It eases your heart rate back to its normal pace and helps your body transition from the high energy state of a workout back to its everyday rhythm. And let's not forget, stretching feels good. It's a great way to release tension, both physically and mentally. It's a moment to focus on your breath, to connect with your body, and to acknowledge the effort you've just put in. So let's recap. Stretching before a workout prepares your muscles for the activity, reducing the risk of injury. Stretching after a workout aids muscle recovery, reduces stiffness, and helps cool down your body. So always remember to stretch both before and after your workout for optimal muscle recovery. Now, let's talk about refueling your body post-workout with protein and hydration. Imagine your muscles as a house under construction. Protein acts as the bricks and mortar, essential for repairing and rebuilding what's been broken down. During a workout, your muscles endure a lot of stress. Tiny tears form in the muscle fibers, which sounds scary, but it's actually a good thing. It's this damage that prompts the body to repair and strengthen the muscles. But to do this, your body needs protein. Protein provides your body with amino acids, the building blocks of muscle. Consuming a good source of protein after a workout provides your body with the raw materials it needs to repair those tiny tears, helping your muscles to recover and grow stronger. Whether it's a lean chicken breast, a protein shake, or a plant-based protein source, ensuring you refuel with protein after a workout is a crucial step in muscle recovery. But let's not forget about hydration. When you exercise, your body loses fluids through sweat. These fluids are essential for maintaining blood volume, regulating body temperature, and allowing muscles to contract. So when you don't replace these lost fluids, it can lead to dehydration which can impair muscle recovery. Water is the best choice for rehydration. It's readily available, calorie-free, 
and it also helps to transport nutrients like protein to your muscles. Other options include sports drinks, which can also replace electrolytes lost through sweat, or even milk, which provides both hydration and protein. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to hydration. The amount of fluid you need depends on several factors, including the intensity and duration of your workout, the temperature, and your individual needs. So, let's sum up. Post-workout, your body is like a construction site. It needs the right materials to repair and build. That's where protein and hydration come in. They provide your body with the essentials it needs to recover, rebuild, and come back stronger. Never forget, after your workout, replenish your body with a good source of protein and hydrate well. Next, we delve into the soothing world of hot showers post-workout. Imagine this. You've just finished a grueling workout, your muscles are aching, your body is tired, and all you want is some relief. Enter the hot shower. A hot shower is not just a sanctuary to wash off the sweat and grime of a hard workout, it's also a place where your muscles can find relief. The heat from the shower helps to relax your muscles, easing the tension built up during your workout. Just like a warm-up gets your muscles ready for exercise, a hot shower can help them wind down. But it's not just about relaxation. The heat from a hot shower also increases blood flow to your muscles. This increased circulation brings more oxygen and nutrients to your muscles, which can speed up the recovery process. It's like a delivery service for your muscles, bringing everything they need to recover right to their doorstep. Now let's talk about heat therapy. This is where the heat from a hot shower can really shine. Heat therapy has been shown to aid in reducing muscle soreness post-workout. The heat helps to soothe the aches and pains, reducing the discomfort that can often follow a tough workout. So next time you're feeling the burn after a workout, instead of reaching for the ice pack, why not step into a hot shower? It's a simple and effective way to help your muscles recover. So consider taking a hot shower after your workout to aid in muscle recovery. Lastly, let's discuss some things to avoid for optimal muscle recovery. Sugary foods, alcohol, and drugs may seem tempting, but they can severely hinder the muscle recovery process. Here's how. When you consume sugary foods, your body experiences a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. This causes a surge in insulin production, which can lead to inflammation and slow down your muscle recovery. So while that donut might appeal to your taste buds, it's not doing your muscles any favors. Alcohol, on the other hand, has a dehydrating effect on the body. It reduces the production of a hormone that helps your body reabsorb water. This can lead to dehydration, which can impair muscle recovery. Think twice before you reach for that post-workout beer. Drugs, particularly those that are not prescribed or are misused, can have devastating effects on your body. They can lead to long-term damage to your organs, inflammation, and dehydration, all of which can impede muscle recovery. Remember, every choice you make affects your body and your recovery. These substances might provide temporary satisfaction, but the harm they cause to your muscle recovery is not worth it. Opt for healthier choices like fresh fruits, water, or a protein shake to fuel your body and aid your muscles in their recovery process. So, for the sake of your muscles, steer clear of sugary foods, alcohol, and drugs.